Hey, it's Nick. Today's topic is how to travel the world while increasing and expanding your income. I'm gonna share with you guys the exact philosophies and theories I've operated off of the last six to seven years to get to this point today. In the day, it is about 10.30 a.m. Before I do that though, I'm gonna give you a little tour. This is my villa. We're here in Tulum. I'm with my buddy Jack. He's also a day trader. Say what's up, Jack. What's up, guys? How's it going? So we actually just arrived here a couple of days ago and we got a pretty sick villa. And I'll give you guys a little tour and we'll jump into the topic today and we'll kind of make this an informational video, but vlog style and we'll see how it goes. All right, so the spot's not too big, but, but it's pretty cool. It has some nice amenities. There's like a gym. All right, so when I initially did the tour, I didn't realize my head was in the way, but when I was trying to edit this video, it was very clear. So here's a view of the backyard. We have a pool, we have some nice uh, seating arrangements, a picnic table to eat outside, and we are literally in the middle of a jungle, which we had to choose a spot because it had the best Wi-Fi internet connection, which is important for us to use because we are trying to keep making money while we're out here, right? So here's the backyard, very, very beautiful, and we'll go ahead and cut back to the video now. We got a little hammock right here, sit down relax, ah, read a book. And yeah, that's pretty much the outside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take you up to my room, which the room, I'll tell you what, the marketing that was done for this place was actually really good because I thought, that, I thought it was a lot bigger than it, than it actually is. So yeah, we'll go upstairs, right there, balcony overlooking, pretty cool. And the rooms, nothing too crazy. I mean, got a bed, you know, windows, TV, nice walk-in closet, shower. So your basic necessities, but it is pretty modern and I like that. Then with a little tour, we do this last year, the pandemic happened, my plans got rearranged. And this is basically a month where I'll be here in Tulum, see how it is to work internationally. And there will be a point where, you know, maybe I do actually get rid of my I-8 and I just go nomadic, I think that's a word, nomadic for the next year or so, and just really experience and travel the world because this has been a goal that I've always thought about. And I don't know, maybe for you, you've, you've thought about it too, but I, I had a little bit of fear of actually doing it. Like, should I actually go for this? And it's cool because Jack is literally on the same exact page to get today, think about this, this little table right here, this little wood table, literally $15,000 profit was printed at this table today. That's how much Jack did, a little bit more than me, he actually did 7,500 profit today. So combined, we printed 15 grand cash in another country. We're about to go and hit the beach, uh, go get some tacos and kind of see where the day takes us. But with that, that's what I'm gonna share with you in today's video, that with you the mindset philosophies that it actually took to get here because it didn't happen overnight. So a little update, I started the video two days ago, I, I forgot exactly, and a few days went by, things happened, we are crushing it on the charts and I just had a really good week, really focused, and this was actually the result. So I made a little over $20,000 my first week in Tulum, Jack made over 45, 40, around 40,000 40, dollars. So combined, you know, that's $60,000 printed in Tulum and it's been a really good week. I, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but sometimes just being in a different environment can be inspirational and that's exactly what, at least I feel like, it's just a, a good vibe all around. When I reflect on actually how I got to this point, it was actually a decision I made like seven and a half years ago. It was when I first learned about trading there was this guy named King. I watched him trade currencies. He made about $300 an hour. At that time, I was working basically a minimum wage part-time job. So I was maybe making 300 every two weeks, every week and a half. And I was just so intrigued because the first thought that I had was I watched him print this money with just internet connection and a laptop. And at this time, King was trading for maybe a, almost a year. He didn't have too much of a strategy though. He, he was a smart guy, he was at Cornell University, so he was definitely a smart guy, but 
I pretty much made a decision at that point that I was gonna learn this at all costs. I didn't know how long it was gonna take me. I didn't know how much time I was gonna have to put into it. I didn't know that I was maybe gonna lose money along the way, but I knew that I wanted to get this skill set down. And that was the first decision I made. Fast forward a few more months, I was still in school and really just not feeling inspired to go to class because I started to read different books uh, like Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad Poor Dad, and these were just you know introductory books that maybe shifted my mindset a little bit. And I started to really think about what I wanted my life to look like. And this was it right here. I wanted to be in the position to control my income at will and really just be free. And the other thought that came into my head was being indestructible. I don't know about you, but I've watched people, especially during times like this, economic crisis, lose their jobs, bankruptcy, unemployed. I wanted to make sure that that never happened to me. And I advise you do the same thing. It's not gonna be easy, it's not gonna happen overnight, but it's gonna be worth it once you get those skill sets down where you could actually control your income at will. And I, and I watched that actually happen with individuals in my family growing up in 2008. So I don't know about you, but my family, you know, in terms of background of like having people that are millionaires, investors, traders, it's definitely not a thing. Entrepreneurs, it's not a thing at all. I just wanted to be that person in my family that started the cycle of being able to create generational wealth. And I knew I, knew I had to do it. I knew I had to leave school and I just went on on this mission to learn this skill set. And if you really think about it, especially in times like these, if you have the right skill sets, skill sets where you can create income at will. So for me, I think trading is definitely one of one of those skill sets because who knows? Maybe in 20 years, there's robots, there's AI, that there, you know, uh, jobs will be replaced more with machines. And at that point, what are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? And this is something we can always do. There's algos trading the markets right now. A lot of you know large institutions, hedge funds, they've switched over to algorithmic trading, trading with algorithms. And now I just trade with them. You know, they're buying, I'm buying, they're selling, I'm selling. And it's something where I can literally do this from anywhere in the world. So I made that decision to learn the skill sets. That was my first focus. I didn't care how much it cost. I didn't care how long it took. Other skill sets that are good is sales, marketing, anything uh, business related, learning how to build teams. Maybe you're not the person that's able to do the ads, you're, you're able to do the sales. I would, I would get some background in it, but building teams, learning how to actually build an organization, uh, anything with like uh, video, media, marketing, th those are things that will always have some, some necessity because at the end of the day, products need to sell for our economy to run. So I actually studied a little bit of each. I, I built an agency, I studied tra trading, I worked for one of the number one sales trainers in the world and this is a, over the span of eight years. And, and I've actually built seven figure industries um, with these different skill sets at will. Right now, a new company that I built, it's called Smart Candles. It's a software. It's in that space of software. That's, that's the, the next step I'm taking. In the last three months, this is when I started it, you know, we're doing as much as 20,000 a month in revenue and I'm taking it slow. Eventually it'll be, it'll be at seven figures. Right now I'm getting all of the systems and processes, the back end work put in. But now that I have those skill sets, I can just rinse and repeat this process over and over. Same thing with trading. Now that I know how to do it, it's literally rinse and repeat. Right now there's so much information and so many shortcuts that you could take. With hard work, it still takes work, but you can tap in and learn from somebody that's already doing it. And you know, we, we do help individuals learn how to trade. It's something we do. We actually have a cool program we're doing together right now. But with that, I just wanna leave you with this. If you're watching this right now and you know deep down inside that you, you don't have anybody in your family that's creating generational wealth, you don't have anybody that's really gonna put your guys' family name on the map, you be that person. You go out there, you do what it takes, whether it's trading, whether it's business, whether it's entrepreneurship, you take that in your hands and say, I'm gonna be that person in my family to put us on the map 
and make sure that no matter what happens in the world, we'll always be okay. With that, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.